Yo, yo, welcome to the Trippy Show and the Paranormal News. We have some insane topics to get into this evening. Uh, K-Mac, you remember kind of uh, a while ago now, we showed off one UFO footage uh, clip from NASA where it seemed like NASA cut the clip right when this UFO showed up. It's, and that was suspicious. Yeah, well, it was like four of them. It was uh, definitely the most suspicious-looking thing I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is suspicious how all the cameras turned off. Yeah, there was like four or five things coming off the Earth's atmosphere, flying down, like outer space. Those like, things, I believe, were like cylinders. They were very odd, but uh, apparently we have some more some evidence. Secret top-notch missions going to outer space they want to know about? I don't know. Definitely. And uh, we have some more evidence Apparently, and let's go ahead and go to the audio here, Kyle. Right. This is another check this out exact same situation where the clip is going to cut out, and apparently something is going to be seen here on video. I'm not getting any audio here, Kyle. So I'm, I'm sure because of in space, probably not going to get a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> not a whole lot that's going to matter. Got a little chill music in the background. Okay, so the screen went blue. Was that it? Was that thing in the distance? Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Uh, oh, what you- get out of here, Tyler. We're gonna yeah, I backed it up. You. I don't think we were looking. That's it right there. That has to be it from what he said. I'm backing up a little bit, though. Does it come out of nowhere, or is it just there the whole time? And uh, we'll put a, a link in the description for you guys who want to see this. It, it looks like it's been there, I guess... And this is, I guess, Secure Team 10 who posted the video, thanks to them. And this was caught on a NASA feed. So there's something in the distance. It is pretty big. But, I mean, that, that almost seems way too big. It looks, doesn't really come out like of an nowhere. asteroid. Looks like a spot on the camera. It doesn't look like... I mean, they're saying it's a horseshoe. That's what we're getting reports. This is a horseshoe-shaped uh, like a object. From here. It's definitely big. And for some reason, you know, the feed does go completely blue. I'm sure it happens. Now is it gone when it comes back? No, it's still there. Okay, so it's back. So maybe that's not the exact object. No, that is it. So that's what we're. That's what they they told us to look at here. Interesting. I mean, it is something, but you'd think that it might be. And they're zooming in on it for us now. You think it might be a satellite or something? I don't know. When they zoomed in, that shit looks fucking real crazy. That's like something hovering, just like this is the whatever they're on right now. I'm not sure it was at the space station. Yeah, yeah, it's from the space station feed, so it's almost like an object bigger than that, just mm-hmm. kind of floating. I'm sure a lot of you guys who who pay attention to all these UFO sightings, you've probably really been uh, hearing a lot of information on this one because everybody's been talking about it. it. It's one of those things where when you get it from a NASA feed, you know that's authentic, and those guys constantly have live video cameras pointed in uh, in directions. So, you know, that's a great way to watch out for stuff. And when we have NASA actually cutting off the video, that certainly gives us red flags. Looking at it more if you go, depth now. Yeah, to the end of the video there. It almost looks like it's moving too, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look barely like it's moving. It's hard to tell if they slowed down the video or what oh, they did to moving, that. Oh, it is moving. And then it goes blue. And that was cut out. Apparently, you know, that just went backwards. Obviously, you're watching a clip of the guys uh, showing us what they witnessed on the NASA feed. And uh, it's interesting. Obviously, far from any kind of proof. But considering this particular camera, Kyle, doesn't have any stars, because you know a lot of them have a bunch of stars, so you have some things to have reference points. Yeah. Well, this one has no stars. It's the one object that's that shows off. Oh, there's clearly something there. I don't know if it's, like I said, it could be something on the camera, but when they zoom in, that is kind of interesting how it kind of takes that shape a little bit of, like it could be a some type of ship or plane or, I mean, whatever it is, it's pretty big. It is, it is. NASA getting accused now of an alien cover-up. Retro Brad, what's your response? Um, I'm sure there are aliens out there, but I don't know. It kind of looks like a mm-hmm. a music note to me, you know? It does. I see note. why you're saying that. Yeah. Uh, there's plenty of music notes. You can pretty much get anything out of that. But when it comes to the reason why they're getting called out here, Retro oh, I see what you're saying on song, Sideways, yeah, it looks like a horseshoe. Well, the reason why like... they're getting called out is because, as we said, this is multiple times where they have done this. And if you're getting to the point where you keep cutting off your clips yeah. when things are coming into focus, yeah, that's, clearly that's a, you're hiding something here. Could be something from another country, too. It really could be. So make sure to uh, keep an eye out for this one, guys. I know you've probably been reading about it. If not, make sure to, to look out for it and read. Let us know what you think about that. It could be a real UFO sighting. We've had so many things that we've seen here and shown off on the show where you know you have so many doubts about it. But when it's NASA showing it off, this is the second time now 
this can't continue. Well, when we feature it on our show, it's legit. So, uh, absolutely. Well, I mean, we're we're kind of you know we're kind of policing it as we go along. We are. We because there's some out things that, yeah that look good, but then there's no proof. And these are coming, and that was from Mail UK or whatever. That's a that's somewhat legit. legit source. And as I said, I've been hearing about it all day. It's one of those things that anybody who's into paranormal news, they've probably been reading about that. Yeah, could be something legit, guys. Um, another story might not be legit. Let's talk about this. We have a ghost that could have possibly photobombed guests at a hotel that was inspired by The Shining. Now, for us here on the show, I gotta say, The Shining is one of the most eerie movies, and to like be in a location inspired by that, I, that's one of the scariest places I could ever be, man. I'm totally creeped out by The Shining just because of how young I saw it, man. But uh, the photobomb itself, what do you think, Kyle? Well, this oh. is at the, uh, the Stanley Hotel in uh, Estes Park. Yeah. In Colorado, and apparently it's not the actual one that was used in the Shining movie. Uh, apparently, that one is the Timberline Lodge in the movie. But and I've wrote, seen this one. He here wrote myself. this. He wrote the Shining after staying at the Stanley Hotel, and he got all of his, you know, he got all his inspiration from stuff that he heard that was going on there. Yeah. And I guess some stuff that he actually experienced himself. Yeah, man, I've seen this place. I've driven up to it, and it really is eerie. I remember when they told me as he, a young buck that it was a Shining Hotel. I yeah. wanted no part of it. Yep. But uh, so somebody took a picture. Uh, this is actually the video on this. Yeah, I'm, we're looking at the – here, let's go and play the audio. I've been looking at it, and we have some, some ghost experts that have been sent in to check this out. Let us know if it is in – fact now, a ghost photo bomb sounds in the back yeah it's, it's basically explaining what's going on here as k-mac said we have this hotel looks just like the one from the movie you know if you see it in real life you're gonna think about it immediately <laughs> all right so we have someone who might actually have captured a ghost in one of the most haunted locations in america good place to look so here's the photo here retro brett I'm going to I mean, pause it for you guys say, for a Let's second. say there's a lady at the top of the staircase. Like, how looks like she's not wearing a, a huge-ass hat. A guest. Well, this right here, this is the old photo. Well, it might have been a guest at one time. Absolutely. Well, this is, they're saying that this person's dead and they photobomb. Like, do you see them right here? No, I don't. Because that's what they're saying, right? Well, right that this was a photobomb. I don't see a ghost there. I see some form of... Some There's something there, right? Yeah. Some distortion. The, and definitely some ghostly things going on up there. Oh, I don't know. That's, Maybe they zoom shit. in. Maybe it's just the uh, <laughs> So the picture on the right the is camera. a real picture? Now, here's the thing. The paranormal experts are the ones who are saying that there are ghosts in the photo, and they're going to explain to us here in this video, and we'll pass on the message, guys. You have the woman, or the okay. woman in the black, who was from the classic photo. Apparently... She was in that other photo, but you have to have a keen eye. I don't, are you sure that's the way it is? That's supposed to be the ghost right there. I think they're just showing you what the picture looks like normally, the, how the staircase looks. Yeah, I mean, that's like uh, that's pretty much so there's supposed to be a ghost right this here. This guy's pretty much saying that, that there was no woman there. He just took a picture of that and... There's a video at the bottom. What, of so looking about. through the lens. We showed you a picture from the Stanley Hotel that appears to show something, and he said a ghost at the top of the staircase of the hotel. A lot of people debating on social media about images of, of the image's authenticity. So we got a professional opinion. We sent the picture to Kevin Sampron, the president and founder of Spirit Paranormal Investigations. He says that in over 90% of cases his team looks into, natural causes are what to blame for what people think is hmm. paranormal activity. Of However, course. He says this picture's legit. The team found no evidence of tampering or photoshopped. And in fact, they found what they believe is a second ghost. Really? Yeah, they think there's a kid behind her. Blew up the picture of the anomaly. I oh, really? I saw a second anomaly just to the left of the first figure. Yeah, so that and picture so is the, like the ghost. The it's not just some lady. It be like a lady dressed in black. And to the left of her, I mean, it looks obviously like that would be a, an obvious ghost picture if it was one, head. but that looks way too... It looks like there's just a lady there. Railing. Like... How do they know there's nobody there? Is it just a, a woman that walked through? Kevin says he and his team believe it could be a ghost of a mother and her child. Lots of you have been sharing... Scary-looking mother. That's a, Jeez, what kind of pills was this lady on? Do you believe in paranormal activity? You can vote right That's now. That's a really confusing story, too, man. I mean, so just like, because it... So, there, like, that would be a ghostly image? 
That would be amazing to catch that. Yeah, that's that not a game. real lady, apparently. He took a picture of nobody in the staircase, and then when he looked at it, I mean, that's clearly, it looks like a fucking woman. Yeah. In black. Wow, man, if that's real, if there's, t- maybe that, I mean, that's why it's confusing us, guys, because it really does look exactly like a lady. That's what we're like, oh, there's a chick standing there. That's yeah, we thought it was a real photo. woman, yeah. But no, when you look closer at it, we kind of blew it up here on the uh, on the BRN set, and it, you can tell it is faded there, K-Mac. I'm not really seeing a distinct face, and we are kind of making it out ourselves. Oh, it looks like a woman in a black, like, almost like, she's robe. But no, looks you know, like an no arm, face here. The arm coming down. On the right-hand side. With the black robe, it's easy to uh, kind of assume what's there. That's the thing. Yeah, it looks like her hair. It's almost like she's wa- like looking away from us. She's not looking at us. She's we're, we're seeing her back and her hair and shit. And then uh, it looks like there's somebody to the left of her. Oh, too. you think that's hair, K-Mac? I, I yeah. think that's like a huge Russian hat. It could be. Like one of those it could be. tall furry hats. Hell yes. Well, Retro Brett, I mean, I'm also confused by this. blonde hair. Because why are they showing us the two photos like... This is I already told you it's because they're showing you what the real spot looks like with nothing there. Like what? That's what it really normally looks like. It's and that's terrible what the guy lighting was to taking, compare that to. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's not for that. It's just tell it's to show you that look. There's a railing that goes up. Uh-huh. There's windows behind it. That's what the wall looks like behind them. No ghost. And that's what he took a picture of. And apparently, when he looked at his picture, that's what was there. I know. That's that's my point though. It's like that's a terrible picture to compare it against. It's just stupid right there. But hey, if that's the if that is legit right there, it's the same picture, it's the same spot. Well, yeah, I, I think um, I'm on KMAX side. I think the one on the left is him looking through the lens, and the one on the right is the actual picture he took. Yeah, that's. But the one on the right is dim and looks, you know, fucking really something's wrong with it. The one on the left is like bright and looks well, no, brand new. Yeah, the well, no, the one on the right looks like a normal picture from like a, somebody's phone. The one on the left looks like a more professional shot taken. In, yeah, taken inside. And of it's kind of where they point the no ghost. It's kind of stupid how they do that. But then again, that's where I'm. I paused it in the video in particular. So crazy story there, man. We have two stories that we cover on the paranormal news. That if you are going to have proof, because it's hard to have proof of ghosts. You know what I mean? Like, good luck with that. So you're going to have to catch them on film somehow which is kind of what they did here. And then in the same case there with the UFO, good luck because you have to catch it on film. And we had video evidence of both of them. Yeah. And it was hard to discredit them, especially I'd have to say the ghost, now that you know we kind of make it out from that point of view, it's so realistic that we, that is evidence. We just can't trust. Like, how do we know there was nobody up there? You know, That could have just been a real person just standing there at the top. Like, That's what we first, that was our first inclination. But it's kind of weird that the guy would, you know, but, you know, promote that unless he is, like, some type of ghost hunter, and I could see that being fake. And it is, you know, that's that's kind of what's going on, because it's the Stanley Hotel. People are clearly out there looking for ghosts. Here's the tweet he put out. It has 2,162 likes. It says, by golly, I think I may have captured a hashtag ghost at hashtag Stanley Hotel. And he did put out that picture, and that, it has to be Photoshop. It looks like a poor... Well, no, they, that's what they said on the uh, news thing, that it wasn't. It's not. They, they've they already ran it through, and they said that nothing looks altered at all. That's the great. thing is, it just could be a, his wife. <laughs> it could be, but who... This is my question. Wait, here's the who picture talks itself. by golly. By golly. That's, what's, the, what, what's up with that? It could have been an old guy. All right, man. It could have been JR. So uh, here's the exact picture. Another thing is we were looking at an edited version of the picture. This thing's actually... It's... Like, you know, paranor or uh, para, what is it? Oh, look, there's two panoramic. ghosts over on the side, too. Yeah, right. Two normal people just hanging out over here. It looks like somebody checking in. That's crazy. If it's right there, that would be creepy as fuck. You got this old school elevator straight out of the Twilight Zone. And, uh, man, if that's a legit picture, guys, if that really is a real ghost, then uh, I guess we have proof right or here. Or it's the, the lady living uh, who's staying on the second floor, <laughs> walking down the stairs with her kid. Yeah, sleepwalking it or something because she definitely looked a little bit dazed. But uh, I think it was uh, Stanley Hotels putting this out. Stanley Kubrick. You think? You He's think bad. it was just for uh, publicity? Uh, no, yeah. of course so. Oh, really? Come on, no. Nah. It's good advertisement. That would be great advertisement. We should have. We should like alter some pictures here in the BRN studio. I mean, like, there's ghosts all up in here. Yeah. Well, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for the paranormal news, guys. If you have any paranormal news you want to get to in the in the future, 
Hit us up, one eight 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 six nine two eight two two two. The the ghost of Bubba's past. Oh jeez, that would, that would be a scary uh, one, man, coming down the hall for you. Watch out. That um, would be a lot bigger than that ghost. So we had to get to uh, something very trippy here on the show, K 